Welcome back, I'm Cosmo James, and we got a bit of news to talk about, so let's get to this. If it's your first time here, or not, like, subscribe, and comment, it will be much appreciated, and let's get to the news. With the recent bad news coming from Japan, well, it's nice to see there is some good news. I don't usually talk about politics on here, because it's about entertainment and nerdy stuff, but this is crossing over, so... Mm, I'll let it slide. Love Hina creator Ken Akamatsu wins election for Japanese government spot. Popular mangaka Ken Akamatsu has won his election for the House of Japanese House of Councils within the National Proportional Representation Bloc. Ken Akamatsu ran as a member of the Liberal Democrat Party, LDP, on a platform of freedom of speech and freedom of expression and appears to have been able to appeal to the public. Akamatsu announced on December 16, 2021, that he had intended to run in the 2022 Japanese House of Councils election on Twitter. Akamatsu updated the public on the results of his election. After 8 p.m., various media outlets began to report that I would be the projected winner for the House of Councils election, Akamatsu said. He added, Within my election, this is the birth of the first manga artist to be in the government. I believe that Japan will change. I will work hard to realize my promises so that I do not betray the voters who supported me and will not shame them as their representative. Ken Akamatsu became involved in politics after speaking out against what he saw as outside influences that were negatively stifling freedom of expression in Japan. I remember this. Back in... Well... December 16, 2021. I can't believe it. It's been that long. But I do remember that Ken Akamatsu came out against the whole censoring and uh, outside influences changing Japan and trying to censor things. And, well, most, not most, sorry, every anime manga lover was ready, was behind him because we don't want to censor the stuff we love. We want to see what creators want to put out there, good or bad. We want to see it all. Some things are a bit risque, for sure. But, hey, if it's not for you, don't buy it. That's what I do. And, well, if it's for you, well, buy it, duh. Still, this is huge news, and I hope he does well. You know, going into politics and government is not an easy job, but... He is a mangaka, and I will give it to him. Being a manga artist and author is not easy work, so I think he could do it. He is, well, Kenakamatsu, I respect him. I love his work. He's actually one of the first manga artists that inspired me, right next to, you know, Oda, One Piece. I love Love Hina. That was my first manga that I really read. And uh, I went back to read read his original manga, AI Love You. And Nenjima was alright. It was okay. Not one of my favorites, but still fun. And I'm glad he's doing well. And now that he's going to be in politics, I hope for the best. I really do. It's, yeah, it's not easy, as I said before. And, uh... Most people get chewed up and spit out. But this is Japanese politics and they are very different than American or UK and every other type. We'll see what happens and I'm all for it. I'm behind him 100%. I know I'm from another country and he probably has no idea who I am. But hey, if you ever run into this video, Ken Akamatsu, for some godforsaken reason, it happens. Just know that everyone that loves your work, loves anime, manga, all that stuff, we are 100% behind you. We don't want this censoring or bad influence to taint. We've seen what it does. It's been happening in America media for some time now. It just destroys. It's cancer. And if you can help keep Japan from, you know, becoming tainted... I'm all for it. Good luck, man. You're gonna need it. With the release of Thor Love and Thunder, I reviewed that movie because I watched it. I hate myself. 
it's my um uh, it's my addiction no it's more like uh i'm a masochist and i like to cut myself i digress i watched it i um it's not good yeah let's go with that vfx artists are refusing to work with marvel due to stress and unrealistic deadlines Ugh. you know i believe this love and thunder was ugly it was not a good looking movie that cgi was horrendous we'll get to that because even taika has some words for that Ugh. talk about insult to injury let's read some of this article vfx artists are speaking out against marvel with many refusing to ever work with the entertainment giant again this comes as artists will share accounts of unworkable deadlines and immense pressure leading to stress and unsatisfactory final products. Many have requested to never be put on a Marvel project again, saying that the studio has the worst VFX management out there. I, I believe it. Take this with a grain of salt. This is Reddit. This is the internet. So don't believe everything you hear. I can believe it for sure, but it's not... It hasn't been fact-checked. These are just random people voicing their frustration. It could be fake. It could be real. It, well, we'll know eventually, for sure. These allegations have been made on the subreddit rvfx, with artists across the industry sharing their negative experiences with the company. Almost no one in the subreddit has a good word to say about the employer, with many saying that the money and the star power aren't worth tolerating such poor working conditions. In the thread title, I am quite frankly sick and tired of working on Marvel shows. Reddit user independent AD419, ah, that's a mouthful, expresses their frustration with the studio. Marvel has probably the worst methodology of productions and VFX management out there. They write, they can never fix the look for the show before more than half the allocated time for the show is over. The artists working on the Marvel shows are definitely not paid equivalent to the amount of work they put in. Others in the reply are quick to agree on Thor they asked for a complete mini sequence two or three weeks before deadline saying, wow, Sam VFX 2015? Yeah. Huh. I'm not surprised one bit. Again, if you've seen Love and Thunder, Woof. If you have been seeing other Marvel movies or shows, it's been bad. And uh, yeah, I believe it. They are cutting corners. Well, I can't say that they're cutting corners. More that they are not using their time wisely. And they want other people to fix it for them. Let's talk about that. So, recently we got a video from Taika. You know, critiquing certain things about... Thor Love and Thunder. And you know what? Let's watch. Okay. Does that look real? In that particular shot, no, actually. <laughs> Let's make it a bit bigger. <laughs> it Man, that smug look. Oh my god. They have the audacity. They're probably not trying to, you know, diminish or throw dirt on anyone, but oof. After this article just popped up and then this video came up, oh my god. It is, it's bad timing on everything. Still, ugh. Let's keep watching. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> really, right? When you look close. You need to be more blue. Well, well you know, no. does he look real? See, is it, they're even saying it looks bad. Wow. Just wow. Is it, are we really at that point that... They're saying that it's bad, and everyone else like, well, it's okay, yeah, it's not bad, it's Marvel, it is what it is. It's kind of like Bethesda with the Fallout, like, oh, it's glitchy, and that's the charm. No, stop it. I need a squirt bottle so I can squirt people for saying those dumb-ass comments. Saying that, oh, it's okay if it looks like that, that's the charm. Like, no, it's not. This is bad management right here. Taika's actually critiquing it right now. It's 
it's kind of meta when you think about it. Let's keep watching. No, none of Does us. She, look, she, she something looks, looks very off about this. Oh my god, this is bad. This is really bad. It's making some... Well, it's generating some big tweets off of this. Most people won't think about it and just go on with their day. We're nerds, and we like our media. So we're gonna call it out. And we're gonna call it out right now. Yeah, well, this is what you get when you don't pay people enough. No, I don't... I don't even think it's about being paid enough. It's about overworking and not using your time wisely. They do deserve more pay for sure for what they do. But when you don't know exactly what you want and you're changing it at the last minute, you're only hurting the movie and everyone else working on it. And that is the reason why ugh, most of the Marvel movies look like crap now. Total crap. Sadly, I don't think it's going to get any better until there's a hard reboot. And I'm not talking about the MCU. I'm talking about the, you know, structure of the hierarchy in the movie business. That needs a reboot. A harder one. Hopefully, this gets enough traction that more people, like the higher ups, see it. And, you know, catch wind that maybe, just maybe, people that work on this... You know, not the VFX workers. I mean, like the producers and the directors need to get off their asses and actually do a good job. Okay, that's it. That's all the news for the day. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see more, you know what to do. Until next time, see ya.